In, in 2013, when our firm joined IR, we were surprised to be designated as firm of the year. Uh, we realized that that may have been par partially related to the fact that we had about 40 partnerings or referrals out in that year. In the subsequent six years, Pamir's uh, referrals and partnerings inbound and outbound have increased each year. The reason for the increased uh, involvement and engagement with IR and the increasing number of referrals is partially because of the growth of IR. Its geographic footprint has continued to expand and our relationships have deepened and widened with more and more members. Uh, another reason that we have seen this kind of increased growth is that both China and Taiwan are important uh, cross-border jurisdictions. Uh, and the last 30 years, we've seen lots and lots of inbound investment. And as people have gotten to know us, the progress has been a, a, a natural development. One of the most important reasons that we see more growth uh, over the last six years, and we have confidence that we'll have even more in the coming decade, is the phenomenon where the cost of doing business in China has begun to increase, and also there's increasing tariffs uh, in different jurisdictions, so that both China and Taiwan, there's price point pressure. So what we're seeing right now, after a 30-year inbound tsunami of investment, we see the waters now changing directions. And what we're seeing is more and more businesses, Taiwanese multinational and indigenous Chinese companies, have price pressure to relocate, to shift their supply chain and their markets outside. All of us have seen this in the last five to seven years, and this trend is going to increase rapidly. Our belief is that this is one of the best business referral opportunities for IR members in the next coming decade. So for us, for the firms that are prepared to receive inbound investment, opportunity comes to the firms and the professionals who are prepared. So for us, we see the future potential for more IR cross referrals uh, uh, to grow. We are very much focused uh, on this shift process. Our firm is uh, dedicating more resources, more attention, because it does benefit us to refer business to like-minded professionals. Just to illustrate that with a few examples, currently my partner in Shanghai, Zhang Jian, uh, has been retained by a Sunzen based public company, and they are in the animal husbandry business where they breed and raise uh, and slaughter pigs. China is the largest producer and consumer of pork products and currently has a, a, a crisis going on of a, of a flu that's impacting the market. Uh, the animals are sick. And we received a call from uh, a client and uh, they are in the process of examining an expansion and an acquisition in Denmark. Jan had attended the Tokyo regional meeting and met a Danish lawyer and uh, immediately contacted them. And we are now teaming on that acquisition. Uh, another example is we're working with another member uh, who is focused on healthcare and uh, the medical sector. Uh, they have a Mediterranean client who has a cutting edge technology in business, and they approached us to help them bridge to a potential investor or buyer uh, to, again, to try to create more value for the client. So we're teaming with them. We're working with a Caribbean uh, member. Uh, they have a small and medium sized enterprise public capital market exchange, and we're helping them to think about how to bridge uh, uh, that stock exchange to be an exit, a potential exit for small and medium-sized uh, technology or fintech companies 
of which there are many in China and Taiwan and elsewhere. And this bridging would change that uh, place, that, that economy. Uh, that's another example. We're working with a lot of members on uh, their China clients as CRS and OECD rules are kicking in uh, globally to prevent money laundering, uh, terror financing, tax evasion. Another area where we're working with other IR members is we're helping them with their risk management and onboarding. As we all know, the OECD has promulgated new rules uh, which uh, change the way uh, we as professionals are responsible for vetting and ensuring that we know our client. It's very important for every member firm who has a China client to ensure two things. One, the client is clean. Second, the money is clean. If you don't do this, the euphoria of getting a China client could be impacted six months later if you find out that the client is not clean and the money is not clean, and then your firm is embarrassed or has its reputation put at risk or tarnished because you didn't look. All of our members will need to know that their potential client is clean and the money's clean. We call this KYC, know your client, source of funds report. We all need it. Those who are at the cutting edge of compliance with these rules. We will all be doing it in the next three years. We have to. We have to protect ourselves. For us, I cannot give a referral of a client to another member if I don't know for sure that this person and the money are clean. <laughs>